One of the most interesting and powerful feature in Simlamp Composer is texture and light baking. What is this? Look at this. This is a regular scene in Simlamp Composer or any software that we has a texture and uh, like the light and, and it's waiting to be rendered. If you render, it looks like this. And if you want to reach this position, you have to render, 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 and <clears throat> you have a, uh, for example, powerful system for real-time rendering. But if you bake all texture and the lights exactly on the object, you can export it rendered image, rendered objects in your PDF, in your VR, very beautiful. So this is texture baked. For example, uh, look at this light at the floor. This light in this position, the texture uh, will be baked on the texture of that ground. And it looks like a real and natural and rendered image. This is a texture. Everything is uh, looks like in a final render. But the light bake it's only uh, bake the lights and shadow on the objects, but it does not bake the texture on object and textures looks like it's on render and not beautiful. Just uh, bake the lights and you can change the texture if you want. Going to the software, I prepare this simple scene and scene table, simple table. If you hit F4 and render, you see something looks like this. And I have to be render, render, and uh, I have to be in a render mode to see uh, this. As, as, as you can see, it's refresh and you have to render all the time. The sun direction in this direction. But if you bake the texture, exactly give you this looks. Beautiful reflection, beautiful shadow, texture exactly like final render and you can export it in a pdf anywhere that you want it's awesome it's actually render one time for you and you can use a rendered object in any uh, <clears throat> destination that you want first it's important you have to select which object do you want to bake and going to the baking texture is everything going automatically for you Sorry. Bake objects. <clears throat> In the bake objects, we have two tabs. As I said before, the texture baking is most complete and the final result. But the light baking, if you want to just uh, bake the lights, but you can change it. I will explain it. Here you can texture, change the texture size. If you want, you can uh, specify minimum and the maximum texture size. The software do like this it's separate the object to the small and a big object it gives the small map to the small object and the big map to the big objects if you have more enough resources to rendering you can set the minimum maximum to a desired map if you give a 4k of course you have better quality of that texture if you want but uh, you have two more resources and you take too long to render a smart baking, of course, fix geometry normals. If we have a norm if issues in a normal, some normal are reverse. It's automatically make the all of the normals for you. And the most important is, is the sample per pixel SPP. If you want more quality, of course, you have to make it higher. For example, in this example, I want to make it higher and dynamic updating SPP. Uh, if you bake, it automatically updates the part while pi step by step, and you can see it is a dynamic refresh. You can set it in a high number; it, it, it does not change the quality. Just you can see what happened in it. Bake it. You can close that uh, because we have a higher SPP, and uh, if you have a lots of objects, it will too, take too long. And I pause the video to bake all the textures. Okay, it's done. And now you can see it's exactly the object with the reflection, shadow, and the texture. If you click on an object, you can see the texture will be set 
the big texture set in the texture tab that I explain more about material and you cannot change the texture if you change the texture for example going to the material set the material for that everything will be gone here in the settings you can hide big texture if you hide it as you can see this is original and this is an show big texture first you have to select the object that has been baked and you can delete baked texture if you want everything is finished and the original texture object will be back if you render as you can see we have an uh, shadows and light here and with a light object uh, with the object a big object you can just uh, I, for more I make it a uh, smaller map because I want to render fast and uh, decrease SPP to a lower number and bake so it's very fast and it just bake the lights not the texture the texture will be maintained as you can see and just bake the lights for example you can bake uh, the light on this uh, object also big object light object and if you bake the lights you can also change the material of that object going to the material and you can give any material to that object and as you can see it just change the material and the lights will be maintained in its position as you can see any big texture in it uh, in a in setting the texture just bake the lights and after that you can export your object to webgl delete baked texture you have to first select the object that big and delete baked texture and baked uh, light okay now we bake the texture again to export it everything is correct okay. i baked the texture and now you can export it as webgl and html5 uh in a sitting in a sitting you can set uh, for example a, a template and then export it okay in a sport sitting uh you can change the unit to any dimension that you want tick optimize and the run webgl starter if you want and hit okay and now as you can see it's a baked object it's in a final render and you can open it in your local house and html5 and this is on template and you can upload it in your website 3d model and also if you want you can bake the shadow in this object you can bake any object in simlabs off and export it as html5 and upload in your website it is awesome and uh, this software if if this uh, window will be not open you can uh, manually drag and drop your html5 in this and open it locally if you want this is awesome okay you can use the texture and light baking for exporting your exporting your object as a final rendered it's awesome hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release